Yeah, Dick Kramer is going to try to uh, do something he's never been able to do, and that is uh, beat the Red Sox 0 and 4. Verdugo started at 322 with three home runs. And Verdugo, a little tapper. The catcher, McCann, will take control, and it's a good thing he did. So one gone in front of Rafael Devers, who will climb into 256 with eight home runs. Kramer just stopped in the middle of his motion yeah, well, here. He what better. do we have? It's going to be. A violation against Dean Kramer as signaled by Junior Valentine an automatic ball two. A three two yeah. a change up is in yeah. there to strike Devers out. Justin Turner 286 hitter with two home runs. Oh, there's your sweeper swept him away didn't it right mm -hmm. right down the river. That's our starting pitcher Chris Sale one and one tremendous last time out. Austin Hayes going to come to bat against the lefty Chris Sale. At short Chang little bobble collects whips it over there and did it he got it there in time and now Adley Rutschman comes to the plate for the first time against sale a high deep drive in the left center field but there's a lot of space out there remember with those fences back it's a long way to go for Yoshida to haul that one in two down for Ryan Mountcastle. 2-2 and that one up the middle right to Kike at second and Chris Sale off to a one two three start. I said now. 231 with three homers and 15 RBI. Six runs batted in yesterday. Flyer, and that one's going to line in the left center, giving Chase Mullins. Big turn here by Oshita. He is back to first base. Man, has he found something? So, Red Sox with their first hit tonight. To short from Hernandez. Mateo gets one, and Frazier's got the second. A 6 4 3 double play. Here comes Tristan Casas, who's 8 of 62, batting 129 with two homers. Swing it a high. Deep drive. Look at this one fly. Casas got all over it and crushed it. One to nothing on a monster drive. His third home run of the season. That ball just about landed in the restaurant back there. You see the guys pointing at it too, saying, you see how far that went? Girls have their first base runner. And it's a Ramon Urias. James McCann striding up to the plate. They're staying put again. That swung on and drilled into left center field. It's Duran moving, racing back, and reaches up. And he makes an outstanding play. He will fire back to the infield. Runner getting back. Duran taken off on that ball and ran it down. Runner goes. Long with a throw and the tag, and he is out at second base. And the Red Sox flashing some defense here in the second inning, and that is all for the Orioles. Still one to nothing. And a leadoff walk for the Red Sox in the top of the third. Likely to score on a hit from the outfield, and that is a good possibility with Verdugo coming up. Change up grounded on the right side, and it is through in the right field of base hit. Here comes Wong around third. He will score. It's Alex Verdugo's 30th hit of the year. It drives home Wong, and it's 2 nothing Red Sox. Here's Raphael, who is 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Swing and a drive. Deep to right field. Crushed. If it's fair, it's gone, and it is inside the pole. A two-run bomb for Rafi Devers. And it's 4 nothing Red Sox. His ninth home run of the season. 115 off the bat. He's been special, but he is hitting the ball harder than we've ever seen him hitting it this year. Orioles now have to hit that comeback trail. They're down 4 nothing as Mullins leads off the 3 2. Cedric rips this to the gap in left center field. That's down for a base hit. Mullins racing around first base. He's trying for two. The throw from left field is too late. Mullins beats it. And a leadoff double for Cedric to begin the bottom of the third. Mullins put on the Jets, and the Orioles get an extra base hit for the first time. Here's Adam Frazier, had that great series to start the year at Fenway Park. And there's the lefty, Frazier, dropping it a hit. Mullins is around third to score. Adams gonna hold it first, as the Orioles are on the board against Chris Sale. Mr. Koss is blasting a long home run in the second inning. It's 3-2. Is a cutter. Wow, he gets oh, a whole lot yeah. from Junior Valentine there. Here's Jaron Duran with one out and the base is empty. The 0 2, swing and a miss. That time 96, even higher above the zone. Back to back K's for Kramer. Long started the three run rally in the third. Swing and a miss. He struck him out and he got him with a fastball. And Dean Kramer just put on a different uniform, a different pitcher in the fourth. A 1 2 3 inning where he struck out the side. Mountcastle bats against Sale. The 0 2. Rip to left field. Yoshida won't get this. And he'll play it on a bounce right at the warning track in the corner. A big turn at first by Mountcastle, but he's back to the bag. And that's a one out single for Ryan Mountcastle. So Santander, the batter, now with Mountcastle on at first. 
Oh. That is cracked <laughs> into right field by Santander. Verdugo looking up, and it's off the fence. Mountcastle got a late jump, and he sees a couple of raised palms at third, and all of a sudden the Orioles have something cooking against Chris Sale. And now Ramon Urias represents the tying run. Urias, fly ball, left center field. That ball's toward the bullpen, and it's going to get into the bullpen on a hop for a two-run ground rule double. A two-run double to make it 4-3. The time runs in scoring position as McCann drives it in the gap. Right center field. That's going to tie the game. The throw is into the cutoff, man. The runner, Urias, is into the dugout with the game-tying fourth run, courtesy of James McCann. Jorge Mateo, first ball swinging has a double and the Orioles now three doubles in the last two innings Austin Hayes normally very good against Chris Sale pulled and through the left side of the infield the Orioles have got the lead it's five to four as Hayes sneaks one past Devers and Chang Orioles lead is a run and Chris Sale has had no answer for this O's offense she did three for three tonight and a strike on Kike. Some real barking there out of the Red Sox dugout. They are all over Valentine. And that's all I think for Alex Cora. We'll see. And that's actually going to be Patsy. Yeah, Alex Cora staying put. And now Yu Chang. He's grounded on flight out of the game. One and two. And a batter timeout. And here comes. Alex Cora with the trainer. He's grabbing at that hand. Chang in some pain. Take a look at that swing. Heading back toward the dugout here. He is done. Yu Chang has to leave because of injury on a swing. And bring up James McCann. 2 2 high fly. Verdugo on the move again. He's been very busy. Long run. Makes a sliding play on the ball. He made the catch. He disappeared in the corner. He hung onto the ball. An outstanding play by Verdugo. Sliding right across that line. And he hangs on. And Yinir Cano has allowed no runs and no base runners this season as he looks for his first big league save. Oh, yes. Corner. Throws him on the sinker and Cano picks up the first out of the ninth. He can strike out with the best of them too. McCann slaps the tag on and Cano has back to back strikeouts in the ninth. Durant tonight 0 for 3, two strikeouts and a ground out. 1 0. Durant to third and it's over. Into the glove of Arias. And the Orioles have done it again. Oh, what a way, a glittering final out by the Gold Glover.